Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How often do reapportionment and redistricting of seats occur in the House of Representatives? The process of reapportionment and redistricting is closely tied to the decennial United States Census. The U.S. Constitution mandates that the national population be counted every 10 years, which is done through the census. Following each census, the process of reapportionment occurs. This involves dividing the 435 seats in the House of Representatives among the 50 states based on their population sizes. The method of equal proportions, established by the Apportionment Act of 1941, is used to determine how many representatives each state is entitled to. After reapportionment, the next step is redistricting. Redistricting is the process where states create new congressional districts or redraw existing district boundaries to adjust for population changes and to ensure that each district has approximately the same population. This process must be completed before the next federal election cycle, typically by the filing deadlines for the upcoming elections. The rules for redistricting vary from state to state. Some states use their state legislatures to draw new districts, while others use independent redistricting commissions or a combination of both. For example, Arizona, California, and Colorado use independent commissions, while Hawaii and New Jersey use politician commissions. Redistricting must comply with various federal and state laws, including the Voting Rights Act of 1965, which protects against racial redistricting plans that would deny minority voters an equal opportunity to elect representatives of their choice. The Supreme Court has also established that states must draw districts that are equal in population as nearly as is practicable. In summary, reapportionment and redistricting occur every 10 years, following the completion of the decennial census to ensure that the House of Representatives reflects the current population distribution across the states. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.